The Romanian Ministry of Defense, in a commentary for the local publication Defense Romania, officially confirmed the information, which only became known in early April of this year, namely, that the Romanian Defense Ministry is leaning towards the option of purchasing K-2 tanks from South Korea. But before making a final decision, tests of these armored battle tanks must be conducted on Romanian territory, as also reported by the publication Defense Romania. The Romanian Ministry of Defense now intends to expand the range of weapons it plans to buy from South Korea. In addition to the contracted K-9 and K-2 tanks, it is also considering the option of buying the K-21 Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicle. At first glance, there doesn't seem to be much that is fundamentally new in the above. But on the other hand, this story deserves special attention because it allows us to ask the following question. Why wasn't the already agreed purchase of 54 M1 Abrams tanks from the United States enough for Romania? For a billion dollars, why wouldn't Bucharest just bulk up their existing order for Abrams tank? At first glance, the answer seems obvious because the USA agreed to sell 54 tanks to Romania at a literally exorbitant price of a billion dollars. Consequently, Bucharest, with its ambition of getting up to 300 new tanks to replace the old TR-85 and the modernized TR-85M1 Bisons, needs to explore additional modern tank options. Nonetheless, there are still nuances to this story. The most unexpected of them being transportation infrastructure. It simply isn't designed for such massive machines like M1 Abrams, so the roads in the country will have to be literally redesigned. In addition, the proactive stance of South Korea could also play a role, working systematically not only on the rate of production of new military equipment but also on maximizing the interest of potential buyers of their weapons, sometimes even using the strategy of dumping.